Okay, there's one type of U sub that we didn't touch on very much at all in the first semester. So I want to go back and make sure we cover it now that we're in BC and we're ready for bigger and, and more difficult things. Um, if you notice, let me actually back up here. If you notice, with U substitution, it tended to be that the U had a certain power, like in this case, our U had an X squared in it, and then our DU was one power below that. And if you look back at any of the problems we did with U substitution, that tended to be true. At least as far as polynomials are concerned. That's not so much true for our trig ones that we did also, but for the polynomials, that's how it worked. If our u had an x cubed, our du had an x squared. If our u had an x to the fifth, our du had an x to the fourth, and so on. But if you notice in this problem, they're both the same power. They're both the power of x. So here's how we can approach this. u, it would seem, should be 2x minus 1, and it should. It's inside the radical. The derivative of u would be 2dx. Now this causes a problem that we haven't really dealt with before. Normally we would say, okay, we picked a bad u, because uh, we cannot change that 2 into an x. We can change that 2dx to 1dx and have it just match this part, but that doesn't fix the x we have. So here's the trick you have to pull. Okay, we've set up here that u is equal to 2x minus 1. But here's the problem we run into. If we go ahead and move this 2 over, like this, and substitute, here's what we end up with, x, square root of u, du, and then 1 half out front. And that's not okay, because we don't want to be mixing up x's and u's, we either want all x's or all u's. So if you go back to what I started right here, u equals 2x minus 1, and solve for x. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to solve this for x. Add 1 to both sides, and divide both sides by 2. Well, if u is equal to 2x minus 1, then x has to be equal to u plus 1 over 2. So this is what we're going to plug in for x. Now that initially may look pretty complicated, but once we simplify it, you'll see that it's going to work out for us a lot better than the original problem. Okay, first of all, the u plus 1 over 2 really means we have a 1 half, so I'm going to pull that 1 half out front and just call it 1 fourth. Okay, and then I'm going to distribute that square root of u in. So that's really u to the 1 half, so u to the 1 half times u is u to the 3 halves, and then u to the 1 half times 1 is just u to the 1 half. Okay, then I'm going to add 1 to the exponent, divide by that number, so I'm going to get 2 fifths u to the 5 halves plus 2 thirds u to the 3 halves plus c. Now I'll distribute my 1 fourth through, get 1 tenth u to the 5 halves plus 1 sixth u to the 3 halves plus c. And then finally, don't forget, you can't leave it in terms of u. We have to put our x back in. So we put 2x minus 1 back in for u. Whew, it's a bit of a doozy. Okay, so, so this is not going to be the norm for BC. Normally, your u substitution problems will look a lot like the ones we've done before. But every now and then, you might see a tricky one like this. And I wanted to make sure you're prepared for it. I actually want to just kind of show you one more like this, but I'm not going to work it all the way out. I'm just going to have it worked out and show it to you. So if you want to pause and think about it longer, you certainly can. All right, here's one similar to it. x squared minus 1 over the square root of 2x minus 1. So that's kind of backwards. If you remember, I pointed out that usually u is one power bigger than du. In this case, u had 2x, so just x to the first, and then the other part had an x squared, so the the other part was bigger. So same process here. We're going to choose u equals 2x minus 1. We find du to be 2dx. Then we fix that right here by doing 1 half. So that fixes everything except what we've got going up top here. Okay, for that, we follow the same pattern as before, and we solve for x.
So I added 1 to both sides and divided by 2, and I got x equals u plus 1 over 2. So then at that point, this went in here because it was the x. This was related to u, so it became u. And then the 1 half du is what got replaced with dx. Okay? So hopefully that color helps you see what came from what there. All right, after that, to be honest, it's mostly a just difficult algebra issue more than it is a difficult calculus issue. Because um, if we start down here, I started by taking this u. Whoa, sorry about that. Started by taking this right here, the square root of u, and moving it up as u to the negative one half. Okay, then I took this part right here and squared it. Now if you square the bottom, that's really a one half, so I squared it and became a one fourth, which you see right here. Then I had to foil the u plus one, because it's u plus one squared, so that required me to foil it, the result of which you see right here. Okay, then I multiplied that one fourth all the way through and subtracted 1. So this negative 3 fourths, you see, was doing 1 fourth times 1, so that's positive 1 fourth, minus 1, so that's negative 3 fourths. And then I distributed this u to the negative 1 half in here, distributed it to all the pieces, and then finally, in this step down here, you can see I'm taking the antiderivative. Then I multiplied everything by one half because that was what was out front, and finally plugged my u back in. So these can get pretty messy, but you can do it.